Howdy, I'm Sadie Mae with the Awesome Orange. Have you ever had a project that you just kept putting off? Well, I painted my house white a couple of months ago and took my old house numbers down and never put them back up. Then I got a notice that I needed to have them back up by, well, today. So I'm gonna show you how I made this awesome address sign from start to finish in one day. Let's get started. Layout was probably the hardest part of this build, figuring out the height, the width, and the spacing. I used the boxes my numbers came in to help me visualize, as well as put some blue tape down on my workbench. This really helped me get the feel for the final size that I wanted. Once I had a rough size in mind, I went outside where I wanted to hang this piece and make sure that the proportions were going to look good. Then it was back inside to start ripping the backer boards. I'm using some scrap cedar fence pickets I had in my burn pile for this project. And I'm ripping them to two and a half inches wide, the same as the width of the slats I used on my cedar shutters I recently made. Once those were cut, I double checked the spacing and then went to ripping the outside frame. I ripped this to one and a quarter inch, but should have ripped them to one and a half inches, and you'll see why in a minute. Then over to the miter saw to trim them all to their final lengths. And yes, I still need to make myself a new miter saw station, but this table's working for now. I am designing this piece as I go, and once I opened the hardware that came with the numbers, I started getting a better idea of how everything was going to go together. After a little stalling, it was then time to assemble. I started by adding some cross supports across the back to hold the slats together, and I secured them using some wood glue and some 18 gauge brad nails. Then I flipped it over and went on to attaching the frame. I then decided to sand it before laying out, drilling, and attaching the numbers. And since these boards were outside, they needed a good sanding to bring that natural cedar color back to life. On to laying out the holes and to attach the numbers. Since the piece was freshly sanded, I added a piece of blue tape down the middle to add all my layout marks to and help prevent tear out. I found the middle of the board and marked it, and then I used those boxes again for spacing. And then I used the numbers themselves to mark exactly where the holes needed to go on that center line. I did do a test hole on a piece of scrap first to determine the best size drill bit, and then I drilled my holes. And then I started hammering in the anchors. And it was with this first anchor that I realized that the frame wasn't deep enough. 
So instead of making a new frame one and a half inches deep, I decided to add some scraps to each side for that extra depth. Then I finished hammering in the anchors. You'll see here that one of the anchors hits one of the supports on the back and it wasn't going in all the way. So I had to remove it and drill a bigger hole for that one. But luckily they gave you extra anchors with each number. Then off camera, I sealed it with several coats of an outdoor varnish and then it was time to get it hung. I'm installing mine into a block wall. So I drilled a pilot hole behind one of the numbers, laid out where I wanted this to be hung on the block wall, and then used that pilot hole to mark where I was going to use my masonry built to drill into the block. And after leveling the piece, I repeated that on the bottom hole, mark it, drill with the masonry bit, and then screw in with the ma masonry anchor screw. Last step is to add the numbers. You're just supposed to be able to hammer them in and that they're gonna hold. While I was hammering the first one in, it wasn't going in very good. I didn't know how much pressure I needed to give or how hard I should hammer. Um, I was kind of afraid I was gonna bend the standoff. So I did end up taking the sign off the wall and then hammered them on the ground. This gave me a better feel of how they were supposed to go together and how hard I could hammer. I did use a towel and a scrap piece um, to hammer these in so that I wouldn't scratch the surface of each of the numbers. The last two numbers had the anchors underneath them, so I had to install them when it was hung back on the wall. But now that I knew what I was doing, it went way smoother. And just like that, I built an awesome address sign in one day. Yay, no fines for me. I just love how this sign turned out. It really adds to my curb appeal. If you like this build, please make sure you hit that like button and that you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss my next awesome build. And remember, build loud, build wild, and have an awesome day. Are the old numbers around the house. There are the new numbers going up.